When I was a kid, I loved games, just like now. I used to stay in from recess in fifth grade to play Clue, or if you're in the Commonwealth, Cluedo. But I was just a kid. I had no idea that someone actually designed games. Games just appeared, like food in the refrigerator or the clean socks in my dresser drawer. As I got older, I kept playing games and I started to modify them. Eventually, I started creating my own. I still had no idea you could make a career out of making games. I was just a guy who liked games so much that if a game didn't cover my desired topic, I'd create one. For instance, in high school, I loved the game Panzer Blitz. This is a tactical tank battle game that only covers the Eastern Front of World War II. Well, I wanted to see the Panzers fight Americans, duh, but no game existed. So I created my own variant for this. Now, four years later, the Avalon Hill Company did release the Western Front version, which was called Panzer Leader. I'm not sure why the Panzers got lead billing in both games. Anyway, then I didn't need my homegrown version anymore, but it served its purpose. When I was in college, I played the first printing of D&D, the first role-playing game. It was so terrible in terms of rules that every single group who played it had to make up their own house rules. It's true, look it up. We loved D&D anyway, and soon I was playing role-playing games every week. Our group eventually switched to RuneQuest, which we felt had more realistic combat, and I started making variants and extras for RuneQuest as I'd done before for Dungeons and Dragons and Panzer Blitz and so forth. Now, some of my ideas got published by RuneQuest's maker, Chiasium. Eventually, they published a whole game by me, Call of Cthulhu. Well, about this time, I got into graduate school. To support my family, I got a part-time job as a typesetter at Chaosium. But over time, school got less and less interesting, and games got more and more interesting. So, I dropped out of school, and I became a full-time designer. But really, what I've been doing all along, I just kept doing. I still love games. A long time ago, I was at dinner with an established designer from a much bigger company. Making small talk, I asked him what games he was playing. To my horror, he said, I don't like games anymore. I am sick of them. Here was a grown ass man, a full time designer who didn't play games in his spare time. I promised myself internally that if I ever got into that mental state, I would quit designing and go do something else. Now, to be fair, that designer's current assigned project was Dr. Ruth's Game of Good Sex, which may not have inspired him as a concept. This story does have a happy ending. A few years later, that man got hooked on Magic the Gathering, and he came back into gaming full force. Not just Magic either, but other board games. So I guess his anti-game depression was only a temporary period. But when he said that, that he didn't like games anymore, it hit me hard with the fear that one day I would outgrow or get turned off of games. Well, it never happened. I still love playing my own games as well as other people's. I resent it when I finish working on a game because I can't play test that game anymore. I mean, I can play it, but I have to work on future games and play test them. So the bottom line is, because of the way I started, just as a fan who loved games and did it, I still view myself not really as a designer. I'm just a fan of games. I like games. I like video games. I like board games. I like role-playing games. I like card games. Like you. I make games I want to play, and then I play them.